Hey, while I was preparing for this series on generative art, I came across a video on Numberphile that created these things called Euler curves, and they drew them on a plotting machine, on a plotter machine, and those things are pretty darn interesting. So this is a pretty simple Euler curve, and here's another one. So depending on the number of iterations and the choice of initial parameters, and there aren't really that many to choose from, you get these super interesting shapes. It's kind of like spirals that are interlocking and then twirling back out again. And it's really amazing how simple of a function that is and how easily you can recreate that in Python using the turtle um, setup and yeah so let's recreate some of these structures and it all starts with this image right here but eventually we'll get to this in just a couple of lines of code so this won't be a long video but it's going to be a super interesting one let's head over to the editor here's my basic setup as it was with all my other videos in this series as well we are importing the turtle module we are setting our theme by importing the theme and then the set theme function and then calling it we have our random module, we run this, here's our canvas, everything's perfectly fine. Now, an Euler curve is so super simple. You just say Euler curve, this is our function, and there's a step size by how much we are advancing our turtle, and then there is an angle step, that is by how much we are changing our angle. And then there's really just the number of steps that we are walking, and well, now comes the code. We, we initialize a variable called angle to zero, and now we'll say for i in range, whatever many number of steps we would like to walk, we'll turn by that angle, then we'll move forward the step size, and then we're increasing our angle by the amount of angle step that we specified up here. And, you know, just that, just that is the Euler curve. And it is so surprising to see the results we can generate with that. So let's set the Euler curve and we'll initialize that with a step size of 40. And I find you these values to fit onto our canvas. And let's go for an angle step of 1.00 and a number of steps of 600. And with the set theme, I'm going to set the tracer value equal to zero, and I'm not going to hide the turtle. So we'll set height turtle is equal to false, because it's important to see what's going on here. And yeah, let's run this, and there we go. You can now see that we have this turtle, which is spinning right in there. You can really see it going around all the time, and now it's slowing down, coming back out, and up there it goes. And that is the Euler curve, and it is so simple. I mean, it's really just stepping. So you can you can sort of see this here. There's like these little edges because the step size is pretty large. So it's advancing, it's turning slightly, it's advancing, it's turning slightly, and it's doing that over and over and over again until eventually it will have turned by so much that it's now essentially coming back around. And yeah, that's when you get this picture. And I think that's pretty amazing because the code, it's it's just, you know, it's just this. It's five lines of code. And that's that's just amazing. So anyway, um let's let's go for another Euler curve. Um so Euler curve. And here we'll now set the step size equal to seven. So it's gonna be a bit more narrow, a bit more fine-tuned, that whole thing. We'll have an angle step of 1.01, .01, and then we'll say, let's see what happens after 600 steps. So let's do this. There we go. You can see the turtle is spinning and spinning and spinning. Nothing's happening. Still spinning super quickly. Now it's slowing down. It's coming back up, but now it's going over here. So it's not going back sort of the original way and then drawing this perfectly symmetrical thing up there but it's going down here. Now, what ha what happens if we set this to say 1,200? So let's go there. Okay, now we gotta watch this again. And this is why it's so important for us to have control over the speed of the turtle and how many steps we are, like how many frames we are drawing, because now I want to increase this because I don't want, always wanna see that. Anyway, you can now see how we are going to somewhere else. And this is very important because we are not going back right away, but we have more and more of these spirals developing. So there's another one right there. Eventually, there's going to be some symmetry involved. But for now, 
it's not looking symmetrical at all. And that's a good indication of us not having, you know, gone through enough steps. So anyway, what I'll now do is I'm going to reset that theme. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to um, put that into a comment. And now let's let's go crazy. And I tried this before. After some 10,000 steps, I think this, this is going to terminate or, you know, go back to its original path. And what we'll do is we'll say, we'll set the tracer value to 10. So it's not going to show us every single iteration and we don't care about the turtle anymore. That was just for you in the beginning to see where it is and how the spirals are developing. Okay. So let's run this. And there we go. Now the tracer value, that's just saying, don't show us every frame, show us only every other 10, every 10th frame. And then we, we get this pretty picture here, um, except it's not really centered. Now, what is the problem here? Um, let's make this 100 and decrease the step size. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, geez, I was reading off these values of my little uh, notepad here. So tracer value 10, 7, this has got to be 1.01 will be the next thing that we are looking at. So right now it's 0.66. There we go. Now we should be able to see a rather symmetrical pattern in the end. And there we go. So that's it. Um, pretty cool thing, right? And it's, it originated from the exact same code. And you can kind of see the original spiral here, but now it's just sort of added to that. Anyway, let's comment this out and go for the next cool pattern. And here we'll now go for the 1.01. And here I had a step size of two and I was only drawing every 100th frame. And down here we have another multiple of 10 many um, iterations to go through. And here we get this sort of pattern. Again, it's, it's the same. Okay, can we still make out the original spiral somewhere in here and then it just, or oh, actually right there, I think, yeah. And then it just spreads out from there and yeah, pretty cool. Now there's one more that I prepared for you guys. So let's copy this once more down here. Um, so now we'll set the step size equal to three and the angle step to 1.99, we'll leave that as is. And so, yeah, let's just give it a go. Up, up. Okay, there we go. And look at this. So now it's going back and now it's appending to that at the top. Cool stuff, right? So if you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel, leave a thumbs up and start experimenting with your own values. Go crazy, you know, change little things here and there, make this 1.90 and see what happens. I mean, this the image before was slightly cooler, I think. But anyway, have fun playing around with this and yeah, get into generative art. It is super cool and very interesting.